check it. Yo, another thing I want to talk about at Occupy Oakland is, um, and all the Occupies in America, the mainstream media is also reporting on the homelessness, um, you know, the homeless people coming out to the Occupies and basically just sleeping, you know, with the rest of the Occupiers in the same space as the Occupiers, and they can't really make sense of that. Um, I think one of the the the, uh, the messages of Occupy Oakland and Occupy Wall Street all over is basically that we have to take into consideration the homeless. That's the direct effect of what has happened in this country since 08 and before that. You know, people go homeless in a system that isn't about humanity first. That's about profit over people. And you could give all these different reasons as to why people go homeless, but more people are gonna go homeless if things continue the way that it's going to continue. So the fact that homeless people are coming out to these occupies and you know sharing space with protesters or, or other groups of people that are occupying space, this could be a really positive thing because the homeless are constantly pushed away and their voices are hardly ever heard. But now there's a chance to integrate that message and to integrate that voice. And that's where the real work is for everyone here and for everyone who's not here to even think about it. Um, and to me that seems like a powerful message, so I just want to say it's inspiring, power to the people, peace out, prop and on, occupy Oakland, occupy Wall Street, occupy everywhere, and squat the condos, peace.